In this video, we are going to talk about the fifth and final torque involved in running. This torque is produced by muscles around the spinal column that rotate the torso in one direction or the other. And because it doesn't involve any of the extremities, it is not as obvious as the previous four torques. Now, the easiest way for us to identify which direction the torso would rotate if there were no other forces acting on it would be to look at the torques involving both shoulders. You will recall in the previous video that both shoulders produced a counterclockwise torque around the spinal column in the direction of these arrows. In order for this to take place, the torso would also have to rotate in the same direction to assist this movement, much like it does when you are performing oblique sit-ups. The muscles involved in rotating the torso in this counterclockwise direction are known as the lateral spine rotators, and their names are the external abdominal oblique, multifidus spinae, and rotatories spinae muscles. The one thing that is worth mentioning here is that these lateral spine rotator muscles exist on both sides of the body. Therefore, the ones located on your right side contract to turn the front of your body to the left, as seen in this image, and the ones located on your left side contract to turn the front of your body to the right, as seen in this image. So now we know that it is the lateral spine rotators on the right side of this athlete's body that are contracting to help produce this counterclockwise torque. This completes the identification of all five torques that are produced around the spinal column when you run. And here they are for you to see all at once, as well as the final torque equation that must be balanced so that you are able to run in a straight path. Now I am going to conclude this series of videos with one more final video where I will point out some of the unique details regarding these five torques, such as what it means to your running speed, running stride, and turnover rate if your hip flexors are weak, what would happen to your top end speed if your shoulders are weak, as well as some other interesting relationships regarding all of these forces in the body.